Thanks to modern technology, you don't even have to get out of bed to find out what's going on in the world. But in the early days of America, news traveled slow. Welcome to the Museum of Artifacts That Made America and the story of a printing press that changed everything. In 1436, when German goldsmith Johannes Gutenberg created the world's first printing press, one of the most important inventions in human history, it opened up the worlds of science, religion, and the arts to everyone, not just the privileged, educated few. High five, Johannes. But when the pilgrims first arrived in the New World in 1620, they had a problem. To be honest, forced to travel light, they lacked the equipment to print anything. It meant waiting months for news to arrive from Europe. Back home in England, clergyman Joseph Glover saw an opportunity to supply the New World demand for information. So in 1638, he set sail for the colonies in the company of his wife, Elizabeth, and his prized possession, a top-of-the-line printing press. Sadly, Joseph didn't survive the voyage across the Atlantic. But after settling in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Elizabeth found love in the arms of Henry Dunster, president of the newly established Harvard College, and together they put the printing press to work. It was used to print the Freeman's Oath, a pledge of allegiance that all settlers made to the newly formed colonies, an almanac containing important dates and civic information, and a collection of religious psalms, the first book ever published in America. The Harvard College printing press meant that for the first time, information could be spread quickly throughout the colonies. It kick-started the publishing industry in America, leading to the establishment of thousands of newspapers across the land, and played a vital role in securing independence in 1776. A no-brainer for the Museum of Artifacts that made America, right? Do you think newspapers will be around in the future? 